Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the sensation of breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And if long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Make it shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to get in touch with what feels good right now here in the present moment. Because you want the mind to have a place where it can settle in. Because the present moment is where all the important decisions in life are being made. And you want to be fully present for those decisions. You don't want them to be made on automatic pilot. You want to know what's going on. Like the president of a corporation. You want to know what the workers are thinking, what they're doing. You have to inspect the plant. Otherwise the plant starts producing all kinds of strange stuff because there's no quality control. But you're trying to exercise quality control here in terms of what you do and you say and you think. Because your actions are going to shape your life, so you want it to be well shaped. So if an intention comes up in the mind, you want to be right there so you can notice if it's skillful or not. And you're off, if you're off someplace else, you're not going to know. Somebody else in the corporation makes the decision. And who knows what kind of politics are going on in the, in the lower offices. So you want to be there and have your finger on the pulse of what's going on. Now you know what the mind is doing. And you can encourage the skillful qualities and discourage the unskillful ones, because you're right there. You recognize them for what they are. But to stay here, you need a sense of comfort. That's why we work with the breath, to make it comfortable. So you feel less and less of a a need to go wandering off into the past, into the future, into thoughts someplace else. You can be right here, right now. Because there's important work to be done right here, right now. When the Buddha he teaches us about the power of karma, he's not trying to lay blame on us for bad things that happen to us. He's pointing out the fact that we have the power to shape our lives. And this power belongs to anybody who wants to listen to the teachings and put them into practice. Think of the Ajans in Thailand. They came from very poor backgrounds. And yet the teaching told them, okay, you have it within your power to find freedom from suffering. It doesn't depend on your station in life. It doesn't depend on your, your gender. All it depends on is your willingness to take responsibility for your actions. And that's something anybody can do. So this is a wealth that is available to everybody. As the Buddha said, conviction in the, the Buddha's awakening, which means conviction in the principle of karma, is a form of wealth, because it gives value to your actions. And you appreciate the value of your actions, too. You both are wealthy and you feel wealthy, because you're in charge. So don't abdicate your responsibility, don't abdicate power. To people may not have your best interests in at heart. The thoughts that come into the mind from vagrant places. You want to be right here, exerting quality control all the time, and that way you have a quality of life.